Hey there fellow bakers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story. Episode 114, going to be Pi Day. Um, so let's now make prep food for the trip. That is my new priority. So let's try a meat pie. So you say I only need uh, four bread for meat pies? I'll grab the meat later. I also need a new bucket. Do I have a bucket anywhere else in the game? I have my condenser bucket for the alcohol. Uh, I mean, I have twine. I just would rather not use it if I have a spare bucket somewhere. I could, you know what, I'll just keep my honey in a... Uh, Oh, the milk bucket. Yeah, yeah, right. And nobody is being milked, so I'll, I'll use that bucket. Thank you. Saving me a bucket. Probably would help if I like. Oh no, the clay oven's still hot. Red meat pie raw. Mmm, meat pie. I haven't had meat pie in. I don't know if I've ever eaten meat pie. If I'm being honest. But enough for two meat pies. It's a decent amount of grain and protein satiety. Uh, what else? I know I can make fruit pies. I don't have fruit. Um, I don't think there's vegetable pies. I mean, I know. What pies can you make? Uh, let me see if the, um, the wiki can. I don't want to burn this, though. So, yeah. You can make veggie pies? I will do it then. There we go. Red meat pie. I wonder if it's hot enough. Uh, probably. Should I slice it? I, I'll slice it. I'll, I'll put it into manageable slices. It's less to manage later. Do I have to put it back down on the ground? Yeah, I think I have to put it back on a table, right? To slice it. Never tried a grain pie, but it's probably doable. Uh, yeah, that's not going to cook. extra thick bread. Yeah, at that point, just make bread, right? I like how I have to cut the last slice. So there we go. Sliced up. Good for eight days. So let's preserve it. Pies do get bonus sanity. That is a fair point. I mean, really, any meals are going to get good sanity. Oh, 
one liter of cranberry brandy. For the 10 liters of wine. I think that's done, right? This whole thing is all distilled. Okay, that's hot. No! Oh, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, it's very fancy now. <laughs> I hit it with a knife and I was like, no! <laughs> not what I wanted. Um, so I kind of ran out of honey, more or less, right around the same time I ran out of sulfur. Uh, I'm also running out of time. Not T-H-Y-M-E, but actual time. Um, still is 94%. I think what I'll do is go a little over time and try to make steel pants. I think it's worth it. So I'm making another jerkin. And, uh, I'll be able to sleep soon, so. Oh, pie, 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 pie. So distracted. Hope the wind holds. I do too. No, they're different kind of pies. Well, eh, whatever. I had mentioned uh, wanting vegetable pie, so let's start on those as well. I'll make two vegetable pies. Oh, I can cut the pies ahead. So can I put the slices down and then cut them? Because they're two different types of... There's decorated and non-decorated. And that's what I ran into. Um, onion sounds the best to me. I think, yeah, it's, this, it's the fancy crust that... I made one fancy. Okay, apparently I can't put onions in... No, I can't. Just doing it wrong. Alright, I'm gonna do non-fancies, or at least attempt to, if I can not use my knife when I don't intend. You know, I have a lot more vegetables. Uh, I wish I had fruit. Because I, yeah, I'll have the preserves. So I have eight preserves up there. Which is a lot of space. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of juggling. But I'll, I'll do another... I'll do another run of... Um, I'll do more stacks of the vegetable stuff. Which is what can sustain me for the trip.
Onion pie. I've made... Actually, I make a really mean uh, garlic tart, which is kind of like an onion pie. I mean, it's, a, it's still a nightshade. Pacific Drive, when is it again? Uh, next weekend. Um, countdown timers and all that are uh, both on Discord and my website. If you ever need timers for it all. Oh, I have even more dough. I forgot about that. There's another onion pie. Food prep. Be good with carrots tossed in too. You know, you're right. Especially if it was like honey caramelized carrots. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Well, what I could do is I could have separate carrot pie. And just eat them together. <laughs> the sanity of these vegetables is the same. I don't have enough cabbage to bother uh, to to make a full pie. I guess what I could have done is like two units of cabbage, but whatever. I I don't think I'm gonna starve on this trip. I think if anything, I'm gonna return home and look like Robert Baratheon. They're like, what happened to you, dude? Uh, I ate stuff. All right, that's part baked, but it's not hot enough. Can you combine them differently? I'd imagine that you can. I have enough spelt flour for like one more pie. So, and enough water in the bucket. So we're gonna go with variety pie. That is our last pie here. Does it only work on tables? Yes. Also, I read from, um, from Cathanon, who was playing, that he tried to use one of the, um, the, like, ancient table and, uh, ended up crashing his game doing that. Up to two kinds. So, let's do the high sadie cabbage and pair that with turnip that we hadn't used, which is still higher sadie than the, uh, Pickled stuff. So cabbage and turnip pie. Oh, and I need uh, more turnips. Sounds gross, but you know, eighteen hundred eighty is uh, well, hard to beat with vegetables. Oh, they fit, fi fixed that crash in the latest uh, stable. That's good to know. Because I know it was a problem. And of course, these won't stack because they're like made differently. Unless they were... Unless I did combined vegetable pies for all of them. But oh well. Yeah, the pickled carrots and the mushrooms are lower C80. Less bang from a buck. Which is a shame, because, like, mushrooms are kind of the... Often the vegetarian's meat. Unless it's seitan or tofu or something like that. Trees! Because I know you're wondering. They have not moved. It's 13 Celsius... But I think night times still dip into the cold cold, and that way these have not vernalized yet. And maybe it won't. I mean, who knows? It's possible that they just don't. They don't meet the atmospheric conditions, or they all die. I don't know. I've been pretty good about not burning my pies, as you have noticed. That, like, Part of, in real life, I have kitchen timers, and I use my kitchen timers a lot. I do 
probably 90 something percent of the cooking in my household and I love cooking. I'm actually pretty good at it. Oh, it's still not, no, no, it's hot enough. Don't lie to me. Before you ask the cooking stream one, I just don't have the setup for it. Or even the kitchen for it. My kitchen's actually not well set up for it. It's, it's a, a harder kitchen to cook in. It's not a kitchen designed by people that like to cook. The dough rising is a really, really nice touch. Yes. Especially the bread dough. It looks nice. So we'll have a bunch of stacks of um, onion pie. We'll have some vegetable pie. We'll have some carrot pie. Uh, some of this I can like eat sooner than later because, uh, you know, I can fulfill my grain. Uh, um, I wish there was a way to accelerate the cheese aging process, but there isn't. So we have these wheels of cheese that just like haven't ripened. Is there? It doesn't store in a cellar to ripen. Yeah, it's not like I can ripen it on the run. It's really sad that like I made cheese and it can't help me. And I drank my milk ahead of time thinking the cheese would be ready, but it wasn't. Damn you, cheese. Why hath you forsaken me, cheese? I should have kept you as cottage. I was a professional sous chef, yeah, for a catering business. Um, that's probably not when I became good at cooking, though. I've really become good at cooking the last 10 years, doing just a lot of the cooking on my own. Can I eat the raw cheese? I don't know. That is a fantastic question, which I have not an answer for. But if it, it, if it can't benefit me anyway, I could always try it. Right? Like if I'm going to leave them behind, um, I might as well just give it a go. Cause like, what do I got to lose? What sorts of food did the service provide? Um, usually it was, uh, so sometimes I was just food prepping for the restaurant because it was restaurant and catering. And the restaurant was like, um... Uh, just like America... Ooh, 98%. Americana type stuff. Uh, I know that's very general, but, you know, soup, salad, steak, that kind of deal. Uh, and then the catering really depended on the different, um... The different venues or whoever booked it out. So it, it really varied a lot. So like sometimes I was making, you know, uh, fru fru burger sliders, you know, 100 burger sliders for an event or, you know, uh, around Thanksgiving time, it would be like turkeys. Yeah, everyone, no one would want to make their turkeys from scratch. That, that kind of thing. Um... What I cook for myself varies a lot. Like tonight, I made a uh, like a pasta dish with um, walnuts and arugula, uh, cashew cheese, and what else went in it? Uh, leeks, like butter, butter melted leeks. It's pretty good. Lemon. Ten ten would eat it again. So this is the last pie, and I think if I counted up all that satiety, I mean, I, what I should have done is I should have just done a bunch of mixed pies so they would stack. But oh well. Um, but yeah, that's that's a lot of satiety there that I could fulfill. I could also just grab like a stack of pickled carrots. Or grab the raw cheese and just, like, hope. You always liked Americanized Chinese food? I have, a f on a few occasions, made, uh, like, 
semi-authentic. Semi-authentic because I haven't actually been trained by like Chinese chefs, but somewhat authentic Chinese food. Um, like a uh, Chinese eggplant dish or dry fried green beans or, you know, things that you would actually buy in, in China, which is delicious. So once I wake up, steel should be done. So the last thing that I'm going to do, if the wind will allow it, is make steel, make steel chain pants. Meaning that I'm like going over time because I'm like out of time in three minutes, but I literally have the blister steel. So I will burn the midnight oil provided that the wind allows. Steel is done. Coal burned down. I'm coming. I like how the lid just was like thunk. And just, uh, I already see two broker blocks. There's a third. I just want to see how many breaks I had. Four. Oh, even better than last time. Not that I'm going to repair it, but, you know, information. So, the pants. Uh, I have three ingots here. And I need 12 total. For the chain pants, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So... I only need nine of this blister steel. The other blister steel I'm not even going to process. Min-maxing. The wind is holding. The wind clearly wants me to have chain pants, so I will work towards it. A little hungry, though. Um, funny enough, <laughs> Grain Sadie is fall blind. Uh, spell. I could make more pies just to eat for while I'm here. You had a relative a relative visit China in the past. Oh, so you ate uh, chitofu, fermented tofu. Or chadofu. Uh, it smells like diapers. Tastes pretty good. What well, smells like diapers? As a father, I would know. Chadofu stinks. S some s real stanky stuff. Oh, they ate it, not you. It's it's good. If you like tofu, it's pretty tasty. Just don't sniff it. Although, lots of parts of China smell real bad, um, anyway. So it's hard to tell what you're smelling and why it smells bad. <laughs> because in China, they don't use diapers, they just have slip pant, um... Uh... Oh right, this is... Uh, right. I was like, wait! I made... No, no, this is blister steel and ingots. I'm not making plates yet. So yeah, uh, back to what I was saying, is they have split pants, so their babies, when they need to go potty, they just hold them over the side of the road, which is kind of like a... Uh, this is not for all of China, like some, some Chinese cities are like cleaner than others. So if you go to like um, Shanghai or Beijing, it will be different than if you go to, you know, countrysides. But um, it's like an open sewer drain type deal for... Uh, for... for babies and diapers, which is why, and you know, gutter oil, and there's a lot of, a lot of reasons China's stinky. Parts of the country are beautiful, but parts are 
smelly and polluted and gross. Depends on where you go, I suppose. All right, uh, let's grab some firewood for bread so I can feed myself. And yeah, I've been to China a few times. I'm speaking from experience, not from anecdotal, like, well, I mean, it's anecdotal experience, but from personal experience, not from just like, oh, what I've read. Uh, my China, um, my China, my sister lived in China for, um, for two years. And then my wife lived in Taiwan, which is different, obviously culturally and uh than mainland china but uh i lived in taiwan for six years seven years um i have not been to taiwan though i want to go bef before taiwan it's something other than taiwan i don't know what i mean So I actually even know some Taiwanese words, too. Oh, I also meant to um, repair my bronze armor. So let me pull it off this dummy. Does the lamellae have... Um, a dried or hardened. Dried? Yes, the lamellae have dried. Okay, so that, that's that's pretty good. I'll keep this in my inventory so I don't forget it. And I'll also grab the shield and the fox. Stick that in the inventory as well. So this is the... I guess I can start heating up the ingots then. This sound. Um, we, we have pretty good wind. Uh, I'll just hold on to the really hot ingot. No point in putting it down and making it cold, I suppose. Your great grandpa concurred. Most of China was pretty stinky. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, the countrysides aren't. The cities are pretty stinky. Um. I haven't been to all the cities, but I have been to a, a, a decent amount of Chinese cities. Uh, so I've been to Kunming, Guangzhou, Beijing, Shanghai, uh, Lijiang, like a bunch of the really smaller sort of villages. But like Guangzhou, Beijing, and Shanghai are, are, are major cities. And um, Shanghai was not stinky. It was very clean. And... Um, and very sort of European style, you know? And then Beijing was um, interesting. Beijing was like half European style uh, and then half like kept historical. Even though that makes very little sense in the scheme of things because a lot of parts of China that are like quote unquote historical aren't. They're just it's it's as historical as like Disneyland, you know, where it's it's all built new, looks old type of deal. But yeah, you know, whatever. So I was gonna make some um, some onion pie. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll make a bunch of onion pies, but I'll eat the other stuff so they stack better. That sounds reasonable. I need to get back upstairs though. I'm multitasking too many things. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah, we go. I'm going to burn some of this, aren't I? Mmm, raw onion. So, this was the last steel ingot.
So I have these, I'll combine them. Keep them hot. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That looks about right. Oh, we're almost out of the temperature that it will allow it to bake. Because I've been busy. And so I won't starve. I'm going to eat one of the uh, foods that won't stack. So I'll eat the vegetable pie. Right, I don't need the uh, I don't need the bronze legs. Um, true, I can use the meteoric that I have on now. Oops, which is better. Right, there is the first plate. Trying to keep my uh, ingots hot. Checking the pie. Oh my goodness. Cool. Did not burn. Uh, but this is too cold of an oven, I think, to cook more. Run around like a like a maniac here. But thank goodness for the good wind. The good wind is is allowing us to go the distance without it being too painful. No, 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 wind. I I heard you slow down a tick. Don't do that, wind. And I should keep these these plates. I'm not going to quench them. I want to keep them hot so I can just immediately uh, uh, punch them out. In fact, I'll keep them on heat. How many plates can I heat up like this? I don't even know. Two, four, something, numbers. Oh, my last pie actually cooked all the way. I did not think it would. And yeah, um, wearing armor now does burn through my nutrition faster, but then it allows me to max my health out more. Getting hurt or wearing armor allows you to, like, max your health out more. So it's a strange strategy. Like, wearing armor for that reason. Wait, where are the other... Oh, right, I'm heating the plates. Oh, my God. I'm, I, I, I'm juggling a bit much. Keep those plates hot so I can chain them. So we're almost done hammering them out. I have two more plates to go once that one finishes up. Uh, the oven down here is all set. I don't need to do anything. It's cooling off. So, yeah. Full set of chain. I am surprised we're doing it, but we're doing it. Come on, plate. Do the thing. I'm I'm literally juggling juggling uh one thousand one hundred degrees Celsius plates. You know, spinning plates? Yeah, I'm doing a bit more than that. Thank you, Cementation Furnace, for being awesome and bringing me the best armor possible. Guess I need a hammer, don't I?
Yeah, my nutrition's pretty good. I'll start eating the um, the fruit preserves on my way over too. I still have such a deep-seated fear of like, okay, four plates. A deep-seated fear of like clicking the wrong thing as I uh, as I pick a recipe because there's no confirmation box. It's just like, all right, you're making whatever you click. Good luck. Just checking on the cuttings. The cuttings, when they're like dark and brown and like look dried up, that's when they're dead. So I know they're not dead yet. And yeah, I'm I'm eating the vegetable pie that um that won't stack with the other pies. So I have a giant stack of onion pies and some carrot pies. So I'm I'm trying to conserve inventory space. This is just vegetable pie that won't stack. You saw something fly off? Uh I don't know. Oh, right. Right as I finish the hammer slamming portion, the speed, wind speed picks up. Uh, none of the trees have died so far, but that's because they haven't actually gone through the fertilization process, so there is time for them to die. Now, I can't mess this part up either. For, wait, no, that was a good swing. I thought the first swing was a bad swing. That would have been uh, de 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 devastating. And what I want to do is um, next stream, I will pack up and head out. So I am guaranteeing that unless I die IRL, there will be another stream of this. Or, like, I lose my save file, or... But I have them backed up, so... I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it don't jinx myself. But, yeah, next, next stream, if... Barring any... Acts of God, or... Rust World, or something... Uh, we will be heading to the Res Archives. How tragic would it be if, like, I was running over there and I just fell in a giant pit hole and died? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You don't want to screw up this late in that stage. <laughs> Second to last swing, and I misclicked. So we've gone with Steel Chain. Um... Because Steel Chain is better in every measurable way than um, than the alternative, but I don't have the materials to make scale. Uh, and there's a, even an argument to be made that is scale isn't even really all that better than Chain. Uh, because for the its advantages, it also has disadvantages. And I'll show you scale uh, in a second. And th the same is true of plate. So essentially, chain is like level four armor, which adequately protects you from all enemies level four and under. Um, and then has the least healing movement speed uh, hunger b uh, penalties of all of the armors. Whereas um, all the other level 4 armors come with maybe a little bit more protection, but at the cost of movement speed and inaccuracy of uh, ranged combat and, uh, and yeah, it might be worth avoiding if that is a problem for you. Skill has a lot worse stats, yeah. Some people like it. But I'm not some people in this case. I can understand the argument for plate. If you just like want to completely max out your armor ridiculously. But there was no way I was going to be able to afford plate anyway. 
Like if I wanted plate armor, I could have made made maybe a plate pants, and then everything else would have been like iron, which is not helpful. Because then forty percent of the time, I wouldn't take much damage, and then sixty percent of the time, I would get wallop, walloped badly, right? So like that 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 doesn't help me. So I want to change. So yeah, here's the the difference. Um, steel, ch uh, so here, well, I'm literally wearing steel body armor, so I'll compare it that way. So the steel plates can be turned into brigandine. So here's the difference between the two. Um, this has, Brigandine has a 2% lower uh, percent protection, a 0.1 lower flat rate bonus. It makes you heal worse, considerably worse, right? 21% worse wearing all three parts. Uh, makes you 5% more hungry per piece. Makes you a lot more inaccurate per piece. Makes you charge up your ranged weapons a lot slower per piece. And makes you walk slower per piece. So Brigandine is the cheapest um, steel armor that you can make, but it has the worst, it has pretty negative penalties over chain. Chain is slightly more percent protection and slightly more flat damage reduction, but its penalties are way, way less. And then um, you've uh, scale. Let's go to scale first. Scale armor has sort of the same brigandine penalties with um, a slightly higher percent protection and flat damage reduction over chain. So you have the same negatives as brigandine with just slightly better protection. The, the real benefit of steel armor is its protection tier more than really anything else, in my opinion. So the percent protection, the 4% protection is like whoop de do, but you're gonna heal so much less that that percent protection is just not worth it in my opinion plus the cost is you have to get a full set of chain and then slap the steel scales on so it's like double the cost for like that much be better uh protection and then last but not least you have um plate so steel plate here you have no healing you wear a full steel plate, you literally cannot heal. It's not possible to heal. You're super, super hungry. Your accuracy is 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 tanked, and your charge time is tanked. Your walk speed is horrible. You basically can't move, but you do have high damage tier pr protection. So for the plate armor, you take very, very little, little damage, um, but you can't move and you can't heal. So like if I wore if I made plate, I couldn't even get to the res archive easily. I would need a different set of armor. Because walking there in steel plate would I would never be able to heal, and I would move insanely slow, and I would be hungry out of my mind. So uh, that's the difference. But uh alright, let's wrap this up by finally making the chain leggings. So it is jerkin, and then done. I have a full set of steel. Nice. And then I have my spare armor. And um, there's one other thing that I was considering doing uh, before I depart. Um, with uh, I could do at the start of next stream, which is to make a bunch of spears out of the blister steel that I have remaining. I think that is a a reasonable thing to do, so that I have both melee and ranged. But um, this twenty minutes over time is where I'm going to leave off. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 7th and March 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. 
If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs. <laughs>